Next up, Florida man should have hid his cocaine before calling deputies to report a break-in and battery. I mean, look at this guy. Is there any real shock that they found cocaine in his crib? The only real surprise should be that he didn't show up to the door with the pipe in his mouth already hanging off of his lips like a Newport 100. A Florida man and a teenager were arrested following a burglary and battery and frost proof, according to Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd. Grady Judd. Judd is policing an idiot soup and you just have to have a sense of humor to get through it. I applaud him for that. A group of juveniles have been aggravating and harassing 54 year old Everett Brown. I'm not going to hold you. I think this is funny as hell. Them kids won't leave him alone while he's in there trying to get high. Do you have any idea how erratic and paranoid a crackhead can get? He probably thought that red broom handle was the devil's tail coming to snatch him up. It's a damn shame these kids don't have anything better to do than to antagonize the neighborhood smoker. Brown called the sheriff's office and deputies went out to investigate. Judd said while deputies were investigating and processing the scene, they saw Brown's cocaine and paraphernalia in plain view in the house. What, you don't leave your coke out for company? I thought it was common courtesy. Everett forgot to hide his cocaine before he had us investigate the crime. He was just trying to get high and watch the ball game. Goodness. So he went to jail for for possession of cocaine and paraphernalia, Judd explained. I told you, you can't make this up. Judd added that the 14-year-old confessed to breaking into Brown's home and hitting him. He was charged with burglary and battery. I mean, this is Florida. He could have shot that young boy. A lot of people have gotten shot for a whole lot less than this. It could have been way worse. Everett Brown, tell me what you think.